Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kojo Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. Now, this video is brought to you by Lemfi. Lemfi, uh, the app where you go if you take same money from US, UK, Canada to any of the recipient countries like Ghana, Nigeria, you know, Rwanda, Cote d'Ivoire without, you know, paying any fee on it. You understand? Download the app on Google Play, Apple Store, send the money. You will not pay any fee on it. Don't forget to use the promo code DINGO. Dingo, your mind go bust. The discount you, you will get there, your mind go bust. So download on Google Play or Apple Store. We could send the money. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Niger, them are law enforcement authorities for their say They no go agree, make anybody deface or mutilate, you know, them are currency. So right now, they are coming after people within the go parties, within the spray money, whether you are spraying the notes, the coin, anything, bundle, they will come for you. And this has been part of Niger Dema culture, especially the Yoruba culture and the Igbo culture, right? They, 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 they go to parties and the rich and the affluent, they go, they want to stamp them authority. In the, they want you to know that they have arrived. These are some of the things that they do. It, it has become like part of them. So, Bob Risky, yes, and the Bob Risky side of things, you know, there is an update. Let me read it to you. Bob Risky was perceived as an ordinary detainee and underwent a thorough uh, examination, which revealed no evidence of gender or genital organ realignment. His male biological characteristics remain unchanged. The Nigerian Correction Service uh, official say. So, ladies and gentlemen, they say your man, they are going to take care of, of him and everything is going to be fine. So, yes. So, let's get back to, uh, you know, the reason why we are here. Kubana chief priest, one of the big boys in Nigeria, one of the big spenders. This, this man is always seen around, uh, you know, the video, you understand? He, he, is, he is rich based on the things that he shows on his Instagram, based on the fact that when he comes to your party, on your little win, on your R. Kelly, on your fat Joe, but he's going to make it rain, ladies and gentlemen, or control where the things are. But bro, or be it don't be small if that man comes to your party. The money you go spray, and let's say you, you, you do your wedding, you your man can spray that money. You go fit take that money, defray all the debts where your wedding, like you, you go carry come. He walks in and he starts spraying and turns. But he was picked up by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. You understand? In Nigeria, he was picked up, uh, you know, yesterday. And yes, uh, he was in their custody. This morning, he was arraigned before court. <laughs> And he pleaded not guilty. Although there have been series of videos, you know, basically putting your man, your man out there, say he's out there spraying money. He pleaded not guilty. And he has been granted a bill, a, a bill of amount of money of what? 10 million what? Naira. So in bail money, it will be 10 million Naira. So as he's standing there, he know they the EFCC or the police people them are custody again. Now, in charge of say he was seen defacing or mutilating what or Niger the man Naira Newton, ladies and gentlemen. And this man brought there are video evidence to this effect.
But then this is what Niger, the CBN, I, I went to their website and I had to go read about what the Lord they talk about when it comes to mutilating the Naira note or the coin. And this is what it says. The CBN is responsible for the issuance of the Naira and Kobo, section 17, 18, and 19. It is, the, it is against the law of in, it is against the law for any individual or establishment outside the central bank of Nigeria to print money or what be in possession of counterfeit notes. If you are caught and convicted of a counterfeiting crime, you may face up to five years imprisonment with no options of fine. Section 20. Now the abuse of Naira. A spraying, it is against the law to spray Naira banknotes at occasions. It is against the law to spray Naira banknotes at occasions. B, writing. It is against the law to write on bank banknotes. For those who write little numbers on banknotes, it is against it. C, stapling. It is against the law to staple the banknotes as, as, as the pins can what, cause you know, corrosion of what the banknotes. D, tearing. It is also against the law to tear the banknotes. Soiling, that is E. It is against the law to, uh, to what? Dance, stamp on the, uh, on the Naira note. Do not stain the bank notes with oil or ink, as this is also a form of defacing. So, it is against the law to sell currency bank notes. Mutilation, a person who tampers with the Naira note or coin is guilty of an offense, punishable by law, CBN Act 21. It is against the law to reject the Naira, section 20, subsection 5. So the law is very specific with regards to what you are not supposed to do with the Naya. With the stepping and spraying, you know, with um, Kubana chief priest in case, you know, we have seen a lot of videos of him doing it. Also, people have argued, say, but Brisky was not given that option. No, but Brisky, uh, sorry, but Brisky pleaded guilty. So his his I mean his trial was fast tracked, right? Like you you come to court, hey, you go kill this person. Yes, I killed the person. Okay, let's go to trial. Make we expedite the pack pack Make make we just jump into conclusion and make we pass judgment, right? So that be why that option they look like they not give him. He went to court and pleaded guilty. And that's why people are saying, say, but Brisky in lawyer never tried because this is, this is a misdemeanor. So if she had pleaded not guilty, maybe she go, he go have the option of, you know, being granted bail. But he pleaded guilty and the judge sitting on the case had to just go straight to the point. You are sentenced to this. The other argument, because uh, people people are also arguing, say the reason why Bob Brisky was subjected to that six month uh, imprisonment is because of his lifestyle, not because of the mutilation or the defacing of the currency. Even BBC wrote an article. Let me let me read it to you because a lot of things they come. Let me wrote, let, mm -hmm, let me read it to you. One of Nigeria's most popular celebrities, a transgender woman known as Bob Brisky, has been sentenced to six months in jail for spraying, spraying in code, Naira banknote at various social events. It is rare for people to be prosecuted for this crime. So people are arguing, say, with Bob Brisky's, uh, Bob Brisky's case, in there, it is a coffee lifestyle, then the scapegoatism. Now, the argument about the option of fine, it is the prerogative of the judge sitting on the case to pass that kind of judgment. So, six months or option of fine. If the judge sitting on the case, Nufi will say, okay, nah, this is what the law says. I'm going to give it to you like this. 
or this is your first time, so I'm, I, go, I go see inside for you, and it is the person's prerogative to do it. So the Bobrisky argument, fine. Also, the, the, the part that people are saying is that Bobrisky wasn't given the option. No, Bobrisky went there and pleaded guilty. Your man, on the other hand, says, no, you might have seen videos and pictures of me spraying the money, but it not be me. This is not my real face. So let it go on full trial. So the other argument where people are also saying is that in some cases, it they take very, 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 when you go to court and you plead guilty, we they fast track the case, no time to waste. When you go to court and you plead not guilty, we go on full trial, which is going to last for a very long time because now they have to build, you know, a case against you, evidence. They have to submit ev evidence and things. That will take a very long time. When you plead guilty, it is shortened. So now that be what has happened. And so uh, Kubana uh, chief priest has been granted bill of, as I said, 10 million naira and things. But people are also calling for, you know, EFCC to go and arrest uh, Nigeria celebrities like Westgate. And there is a video of Westgate, you know, where they car inside, where they throw money. See, if the EFCC, they want arrest people based on this, I think half of Nigeria, the Mayelites, all go go. Because, bro, and there are video evidence to that effect too. Mind you, the Kubana chief priest in own name, it didn't happen just after a you, but Briski in own name. There are videos that, that started surfacing on the internet and he recently celebrated what his birthday. And he is known for that. So I think they, they went back there. Okay, okay, you, your man, yeah. They have been building that case against him. And now we are here. So if they want to do retrospective, intro, uh, like a retrospective analysis of everything and subject Nigerian celebrities, the rich people, we have kings, we have chiefs, we have uh, uh, um, governors, we have political, you know, polit politicians, like big, big men that have found themselves in this kind of situation. And spraying of money be something Nigerians they do, especially where the naming ceremony, birthdays, they do it. But I have read to you what the law they say about it. So if the law says that if you subject the Naira or the Queen, the Kobo, to that kind of treatment, you will be you will be what jailed for six months. The law is very clear on that. Maybe if you want to argue for, uh, you know, the the the, the, the laws to be what hard in the column. Oh, there is, I've forgotten the word. By the end of the day, the law is the law. So that is what is happening right now. So for the Kubana chief priest, you own it yet. Yes, uh, I don't think your man, no, nah, me now nah, from the onset, I knew your man was never going to spend another day in the custody of EFCC. No way. No way. He's rich and powerful. He's popular. He's famous. When it comes to some of these people, they will always find ways and means. And that is why Bob Brisky's case, I mean, said the lawyer actually let him down. This was a clear case of misdemeanor, right? The young man went there and pleaded guilty. Your man actually thought, say, oh, they were going to see inside for, for him. Oh, Bob Brisky has pleaded guilty. Make we just give him. No! They wanted to use him as a scapegoat. And also people have argued, said the reason why they are coming, uh, they are coming after some of these celebrities, you know, we say the Bobrisky issue now, right now, their justice system is being like, they are receiving backlash. Because now people are arguing, say, because Bobrisky be cross-dresser, because the lifestyle they lead, no, no, they conform to the normal living of human beings in Nigeria. No, they are, they are basing on that to subject him to this kind of treatment. So you have international media platforms casting aspersion on like the Nigerian justice system. And so in order for the whole thing not to look like it's, it's like scapegoat, scapegoat, uh, scapegoatism, you know, they are trying to come after everyone for it to do, like, okay, we are coming after everyone. But even in the course of coming after everyone, you, know, you see, some people are being granted bail and everything. So these are like the dynamics of, of, of what is happening with regards to the Mutilation, uh, mutilation, and stepping on and on the on the currencies and everything. 
So ladies and gentlemen, um, yes, Kubana chief priest, as they stand now, he is going back home. He's going to chill with his family and everything. I'm sure, uh, yes, the, the case has been adjourned. I mean, he will be back uh, um, at the court for, for argument and whatnot. And if he's found guilty, he could go inside or he no could go inside there. That one be the prerogative of what the judge. By the end of the day, that is what is happening in Nigeria. So Nigeria people say they are not going to agree. Their law enforcement agencies say they are not going to agree for people to deface the Naira. I don't know what triggered this, you know, this kind of uh, conversation or behavior right now, but it is what it is. You are not supposed to deface the Naira. So right now, if you want to spray money, take the money, go and give it to the person. When you go to someone's wedding and you want to spray money, oh, okay. You go if you give to the uh, the ashes safe, you understand? Or even the event coordinator, give the money to the person so that we don't see money being thrown around and people stepping on it. And we say the money bouquet people there. It be the, those people then for target and those who put money in cakes. For what reason? Waste of time and resources. The money bouquet, when they do it and they bring it to you, you are supposed to sit down like hours trying to... Uh, untangle or unentangle the whole thing. What the, what the hell? And they use sellotape. So ladies and gentlemen, that is what is happening in Nigeria with regards to Kubana chief priest um, issue. But Brisky too is there. The, um, you know, the prison service said they are taking care of him. They are not going to allow any inmate to sexually abuse him or anything. So hopefully he will come out, you know, soon and we go have conversation by the end of the day yeah the law is the law ladies and gentlemen my name is Kuji Sheldon this video is brought to you by Lemfi download the Lemfi app on Google Play and Apple Store and yes send money to Ghana you don't you will not pay any, any fee on it we understand you are sending from you know UK Canada and US you are not going to pay any fee on it don't forget to use the promo code Dingo your mind go bust I'm out